Good evening, good evening. It's great. You may just say good evening, good evening to you. Hello, everyone. I'm Tupperware Pete. G'day, g'day. Tonight, I'm going to be making not one, <laughs> not two, but three, <laughs> three tuna mornay. Well, it's going to be like a quinoa tuna veggie bake type thing. And I'm going to be using, I'm going to do meal prepping because if you're cooking one, why not cook three? Eat one tonight, pop two in the freezer for Ron later on. And these Tupperware glassware, they go into the freezer, the microwave, they go into the gas oven, the electric oven, the wood oven. The seal is a silicon seal, which is liquid tight. Now, all of the Tupperware glassware, I just did wash this up. Maybe I didn't dry it properly. Don't look too closely. <laughs> I do use my Tupperware. Uh, all of the Tupperware glass, actually all of the Tupperware products, do not contain any lead whatsoever. And with the glass that doesn't contain any lead, because it's no lead, it's 10% lighter than other glass cookware. How cool is that? Like, it's a proper Tupperware um, glass cookware. This one's a litre, and um, I'm going to be cooking in it tonight. So let's just grab... It's like a clickable seal. We're going to do some... This here... I didn't, I didn't think this through. Hang on a minute. <laughs> let's do this. Let's put this over here. Let's move this over here. And let's do this. So, what we're going to do is... You know what this is called, don't you? No need to ask. It's a smooth chopperator. This is the little bubby chopperator. Actually, you know what you can do? If you want to practice going skydiving, you can strap it to your neck and you can pull <laughs> and you can chop your onions. How cool is that going to be? Speaking of onions, I've got just a normal brown onion here. I have with my Mastro Tupperware knife, I have been cooked. I've chopped up some cheese and I'll show you. I've actually used um, my large supersonic chopper to shred some cheese or grate some cheese. I've just done some carrot and some celery. So now what I'm going to do is... Top and tail this onion. Oh, top and tail this onion. I'm going to pop that straight into half. I'm going to do little quarters of that. And what I'm going to do is grab my Tupperware chop collector. You've seen the chop collector, haven't you? This is the one that you can poke the holes out the bottom and you can grow your veggies and things out on the back deck or on the windowsill because it's got a straight, a little corner there. So it's going to save space on your bench top. I've got spring onions growing out the back in mine. There we go. So, we've got that into there. Let's just pop them straight into here. Grab our skin and we'll peel them off. We'll pop them into there. And then that way, that contains all of your veggie scraps, which you can then take out to the chooks or the compost or just pop it straight into the, um, into the rubbish bin. How cool is that? We'll grab this. We'll peel that out there. And we are going to blitz. Now, you can, if you wanted to, you could just grab a knife and chop it, but... Why not have interactive fun with the supersonic chopper? And if you do this, people will be arguing. <laughs> I want to chop the onions. No, you did it last night. I want to go. Oh, hang on a minute. That we've, we've probably... Oh, onion down. Respect to the fill line is a good um, piece of life advice that is extremely applicable to most Tupperware products. <laughs> we'll pop this over here. Grab this. We will just blitz up our onion very roughly. Oh, look, that one didn't quite make it. There we go. See? Just blitz up some onion. What we're going to do is, can you see what I'm doing here? I've got my three. I've got my three here. Let's grab a, here, we'll grab our spatula. And we'll just do a little bit of onion into there. We'll do a little bit of onion into there. We'll do some onion into here. And we're just, I'm going to just use one whole onion. Actually, I'm not. That's plenty of onion. So you know what I am going to do? Let's just grab a... We'll grab a Tupperware clear mate, and we'll just pop the other half an onion into our Tupperware clear mate, and we'll pop that into the refrigerator until next time. No wastage here. You don't have to use sandwich wrap and pop that around over there, so that's fine. We'll just grab that. So we've got our onion into there, right? What we could have done while we were doing the onion at the same time, what we could have done, which I've just realised, we could have grabbed our garlic from the Tupperware garlic keeper, and we could have done that, but I've got my garlic crusher which i just keep in the garlic 
um, container because I don't want to run around the kitchen. So I want to know where that is. I've got one in there. I've got another one in here. Let me just show you. This will trim, peel, mince your garlic all in the one product. So all you have to do, can you see this here? Let me just show you if I can show this properly. Grab the end there, right? See the end? All you have to do is just snip that that way. That snips the end off. See that little bit? That snips that off. Pop that over there. Then we pop that into here. That's going to peel it. Can you see what I'm doing here? I don't think I've ever been this quiet. <laughs> All right, there we go. Peel that. Oh, hang on. There's a bit of skin. Let's just get rid of this one out. There we go. And then all you have to do is mince that. We'll put some of that into there. We'll put some of that into there. Let's grab another clove of garlic. We'll pop that into there. We will, look at that. We'll pop some of that over to there, some of that over to there. How cool is that? There is our garlic. So now we've got a little bit of onion. We've got a little bit of garlic. Like I said, I use my Mastro Tupperware knife to cook up some, or to chop up some celery. Here I've got some celery that I've just chopped up. We will just throw in a little bit of celery into each one. There we go. And what I've got is, I always use carrots and onions and celery um, as the basis of your flavour, right? So it's like, grab your chopper. I've just got some carrot pieces that I've just chopped up into here. This is going to blitz up our carrot. I can't help myself. I love carrot. <laughs> Let's blitz this up. Now, if you just want to pull the cord three times and have it a little bit chunky, you can do that. I've got... Let's have a look. That's a little better. So can you see? That's just a rough chop. Four chops of the cord. And we are just going to do a little bit of carrot into there. We'll do a little bit of carrot into there. And we'll do some carrot into there. What we might do is... I've got the rest of this carrot here. Let's blitz this up as well. So we've just got the other half of the carrot. May as well use the whole carrot, right? And with the supersonic chopper, there is an anti-slip grip on the bottom. That stops it from sliding around on the bench top. And one hand on here, and this will tell you, there's a little icon there that tells you. Can you see that? Put your hand on the top. There we go. And you just, there's four pulls of the cord, and that's just a rough chop. There we go. I mean, you can stand there with a knife if you want to, but I know what's more fun. <laughs> I can't help myself. I love carrot. Yes. Okay, so we've got that into there. We've got our carrots into there. We've got carrot, onion. Delicious, right? What we're going to do now is let's move these vents smart. I'm going to pop in this mushroom. Remember that online shopping experience that I did where I ended up with 24 portobello mushrooms? Over two weeks ago, I've got them in my Tupperware Vent Smart container because mushrooms will last for, well, I thought it was only two weeks. They've been in here for about three and a half weeks now, right? Nothing wrong with them. Literally nothing, absolutely hashtag nothing, nothing wrong with them whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to do a mushroom in each of these. Oh, let's pop that over there. And we will just do, look, I love, I do love mushrooms, but when it's like <laughs> every night eating mushroom, you've got them, you don't want to waste them, you want to eat them, just pop them through a supersonic chopper. And I've pulled the cord quite a few times because, oh, there's a big bit there that just didn't, because I probably didn't respect the field line. Go and listen to your own advice, right? There we go. See, I've blitzed up my mushroom. There, I've got one whole mushroom into there. Then it's not, I'm not going to have big chunks of mushrooms, but I am going to have the flavour. And there's that decent dose of B12, right? So let's throw in another mushroom into here. We'll do the other one. Because if you're going to cook one, if you're going to cook one dinner, you may as well cook three and just eat one and pop the other two in the freezer, right? So we'll do this. Oh. Look at that blitzed up mushroom, baby. All without use. Oh, hang on. Oops. <laughs> I've got a focus. Oh, look, a squirrel. Let's grab the... <laughs> That's got a little bit too much pressure. Let's pop that into there. There we go. There we go. Yum. Oh, look, there's another little big bit. 
Pop that into there. And we'll do the final mushroom. This is the final mushroom. Da -dum -dum. Ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -da -dum -dum. When is the final mushroom? I've still got like 17 portobello mushrooms left to eat. <laughs> if you've got a mushroom recipe, send it through to me. I'll probably do it on live. <laughs> All right, let's pop this into the other one. There's some more mushroom. How delicious is that? All right. Now what we're going to do is... I can't help myself. I love carrots. Move them out the way. Then we've got what's in here, I wonder. Oh, broccoli and cauliflower florets. Awesome. These need to be get these need to be eaten. These have been in my fridge for what three weeks or something. So I've just got broccoli, cauliflower florets. I'm gonna leave them as florets. And I'm just gonna chop them into little chunky bits. We've got some cauliflower into there. I've got some cauliflower into here. Leaves and all. Just chunky bits of my cauliflower. We're going to do that and pop that into there. And I've got some broccoli and we will just chop this into bits as well. Broccoli into there. We've got some broccoli into here. More into there. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Can you see? Okay, there's an, oh, oh yeah, may as well. It, it wants to go into there as well, right? So we'll just do this. We've got some broccoli into there and done. We'll pop that back into the fridge, right? Then what we've got, what have we got in here, I wonder? <laughs> what will the container hold? I, oh, there's that carrot. I was looking for the carrots earlier. In the one container, you can keep more than one vegetable. So long as they're in the same box, you can keep them in the same container, right? So in here, I've got some, where are the scissors? I've got some asparagus. I've just got some raw asparagus. I'm just going to chop this up into chunks, just with the scissor. And I have taken the, oh, that's a bit woody. Woody? I think he would. <laughs> All right. So we've got some asparagus. Let's just chop some of that into chunks into there. And we will, that's going to take next to no time to cook. We'll just do a spear in each of the one. Yum. This is going to be delicious. Get your veggies in, right? And we've got, actually, we've got more asparagus, so we may as well use it while we've got it. We'll just pop that into bits. Into there. And let's do this. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Who put that earworm into my head? I can't help myself. I love carrots. <laughs> Yum. It's like a veggie bake, right? So this is what we've got. See? This is what we've got so far. Just got our veggies that we've all prepped up straight into here, right? We've got... Oh, look. We may as well do some spring onion while we're here. Why not? Because we've got them. We may as well use them. We've got the scissors out. We've got the spring onions out. May as well throw them in, right? <laughs> you can never have too many veggies, can you? There we go. Pop them into there. Then we will pop this top on here. There we go. Let's move that out of the way. And we've got a little bit of cayenne pepper. I love cayenne pepper. So we've got, we'll just do about a quarter of a teaspoon. We'll throw that straight into each one. That's going to give it, it's going to give it a heat, a bit of heat. However, it's not an irritant like chilli. So it's going to get the heat, but it's going to be gentle on the tummy. All right. So we've got those there. Then what we've got is, oh, look. I've got some Celtic sea salt. Let's just throw some of that into there. A little bit of salt. And we've got a little bit of cracked black pepper. We'll just shake that up into here as well. And we've got... <laughs> hopefully it'll stay into the container instead of salting and peppering the bench. But bam, 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 bam. And what have we got here? Oh, look. We've got some mixed herbs too. I love the Tupperware spice containers because you can either sprinkle... Or you can scoop. So if you've got a spoon and you want to measure out a teaspoon of mixed herbs into every one, you can do that. So we'll just do a little bit of mixed herbs. That way you've got the same portion controls. Let's move this out of the way. We will also grab our cloth. 
Luckily, Tupperware do eco cloths. Did you know that? Tupperware do cleaning cloths, which are microfiber made out of recycled material. Oops. So you're doing your bit for the planet while you're still being able to environmentally responsibly clean your house and your car and the boat and the caravan and the camper trailer and everything, you're right? So we've got all of this here. Let's move this here. Yum. Oh, let's move that out the way. We've got that there. All right, what we're going to do is, oh, soup down. Soup can down. Let's grab a Tupperware can opener. We will open this up. Now, I know that there's a ring pull on here. When you use a ring pull, it still leaves a sharp edge, which is not helpful in the kitchen. <laughs> when you use a Tupperware can opener, this leaves no sharp edges whatsoever. Yum, 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 yum. And you can just pop that straight into the bin. That's never touched any food, so there's no need to wash it, right? So we've got our Tupperware. This is a condensed cream of chicken soup. I'm just going to pop about a third of a tin <laughs> into each one. Oh, that one's a bit... There we go. We'll pop a little bit into there. Of course, measured with love. Until the ancestors whisper, Peter, that's enough. <laughs> All right. We'll grab our Tupperware can opener again. And we've got this tin of tuna. Oh, this is going to be delicious. I cannot wait. We've got our tin of tuna into here. And what we will do is, I'll just rinse, I'll drain this, um, the spring water off. Talk amongst yourselves for the moment. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there is a land that I heard of once or twice in a lullaby. We've got some tuna. And we will throw in about a third of a tin into each one. Just a little bit into them. Just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Right, we've got something to there, got something to there, that might need a little bit more, that might need a little bit more. So it's just tuna. Now what I want to do is, I also, ah, oh, because the can opener leaves no sharp edges, your Tupperware spatula is very safe around there as well. So how awesome is that? So we'll just pop that down, tuna, soup, veggie. What we're going to do now is... Grab our shake, 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 Tupperware shaker, Tupperware shaker. We are going to measure up some quinoa. Now, I've got some quinoa in my One Touch Fresh. This is an alternative storage solution for your pantry. So there are, there are a few um, storage solutions for the pantry. The One Touch Fresh is very easy on the wrist. It's easily accessible. All you have to do... You grab the tab, you peel the seal. It's really simple. And then, can you see, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see the, in the, oh, see that circle in the middle? That's where you can just use your thumb or your hand or your elbow, and that clicks it into place. That's why it's called a One Touch Fresh. You can pop them in the pantry and in the refrigerator. All I'm going to do is measure up 50 mils. Not much. 50 mils of quinoa into each one. Because with quinoa, just like rice, it's one part quinoa to two parts water. So if I'm going to do 50 mils of quinoa, I'm then going to grab my... I'm going to grab my big tea water... Um, my big tea container. Actually, remember I said there was no lead in any Tupperware products? There's no lead in here either. Instead of the straw, I can now sip out of that with my sipper part, and I'm just going to measure up 100... Where's the measurements? I'm going to measure up 100 mils of water, and I'm going to put that in there. That's going to be enough to cook that quinoa. And the veggies will go into there as well. Yummo. We'll put that straight into there. And we'll do this in here as well. 
And this will be dinner. Whenever you don't feel like cooking, you go, oh, that's right. We've got the quinoa, the quinoa Mornay in the freezer in the Premier Glass Tupperware Cookware, right? How easy is that? So, what we're going to do with that, we've got all of that happening into there. So, let's just give this a bit of a mix around. We will pop that into there. That water's going to steam. Actually, you know what we might do? I will just pop a little bit more water into there, into each one. Because I just realised we've got those veggies. And that might help. And we've got the soup as well. And what we've got, let's top it with some cheese, right? I shred my cheese in the supersonic chopper. I keep all the skin on my knuckles. And this is shredded cheese that I've just done in my supersonic chopper. I'm going to top... Hang on, let's just mix this up first. I'm going to pop cheese on the top. Let's mix this soup around. It's very rustic, but that's okay. It's, it's more fun with the peasants. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got that there. Let's mix this up in here as well. Just get those quinoas mixed in with the soup and the, all of those bits and pieces. Mushroom, of course, we'll mix that all up. We've got our veggies into there. And all we're going to do is... Oh, oh, let's grab a spoon. And we will grab some cheese. And we'll just pop some cheese on the top. And how gorgeous is this? Delicious, absolutely delicious. What we're gonna do is, it does need a crunchy top, I reckon. So what I'm gonna do is, yum. Crunchy, crunchy, mama. What I'm going to do is, now that I've done that, let's pop this here. I have found at the shops, I've just found some hummus, hummus chips. It's a health star rating of four. They're suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Let's... Oh! Whoa! Tupperware down! Let's just pop that over there. <laughs> let's pop them into our Tupperware vintage container. It's going to hide my little snacks from everybody. I know I live alone. You don't have to point that out to me. But <laughs> it's a proper, it's a proper airtight container, right? So all I'm going to do is let's pop some into here. Let's pop the seal onto that. And we'll pop that back up into there. And no one will know I've got cheeky little midnight snack happening in there, right? We've got some chips into there. Let's pop the top onto here. And let's... Blitz that up while we've got it out. Oh, hang on, let's do a bit more. Yummo, that's better. How gorgeous is that? Blitzed up. You could use cornflakes or any chips or anything that you like, right? I'm just going to use these. And we will just do a little bit of crunch on the top. How gorgeous is that going to be? It's going to be delicious. Actually, I know, I know people that put salt and vinegar chips on the top of potato bake. How do you make your potato bake? This might be a, a nice addition, something a little bit different. And if you've got people in your house and you want them to help you, you can say, who wants to chop the veggies? Everyone will go, me, me, me. <laughs> All right, we have got some sweet paprika. Let's pop some sweet paprika on the top. Just a little bit, just to add for colour and some flavour. What we're going to do is, there we go. How gorgeous does that look? There's my little quinoa veggie bake. I've got number one, I've got number two, and I've got number three. What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to seal this up. These ones I'm going to pop into the freezer. Pop them into the freezer. This one, I'm going to pop into the microwave right now to cook. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to pop that in for 11 minutes, right? Then what I'm going to do is... Pop it under the grill 
because it's the glassware, it can go anywhere, right? Oven, microwave, under the grill, and we'll just let that cheese bubble up and that'll finish the cooking process. And we are going to eat that straight out of there. <laughs> if there's anything left over, if there's anything left over, I'll just seal it and pop it back into the fridge until next time, right? Really easy. And then if I want to reheat it, I can pop it back in. Just remove the seal if you want to pop it into the microwave or into the oven. And um, I'm going to put these in the freezer and that's going to be dinner or lunch whenever I want it sometime in the future, right? If you've got any questions or suggestions, let me know. I'm going to clean up here. I'll take photos and pop it over every social media platform you can think of. Um, whether it's TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok notes, threads, I'll pop it onto my YouTube channel, I'll just stick it everywhere. If you've got a um, question or a suggestion, reach out, send me a message, tag me below so I know, or reach out to the person whose group you're watching this in right now and they can help you. And in the meantime, you know what you need to do, don't you? Forget your troubles and get happy, dance your cares away. Shout out and get happy, I'll cook for you another day. Thank you all for watching everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.